New Year. It's the 3rd of January 2012 and it's our first day back after the Christmas break and a good opportunity for us to calibrate all our trip hammers and carry out our lower inspections for all of our drilling rigs here at Geotechnical Engineering headquarters. I'm here with Junior Lovell from Equip and we're carrying out our annual SPT calibration. which are attached to the uh, instrumented rod and we also have epoxy resin into the drill string and um, two strain gauges so these are set at specific distances apart um, and calibrated so that we uh, can then work out the actual energy imparted by the hammer onto the uh, drill string Now we're ready to uh, set up the test. So we've got the instrumented rod which we cable up and uh, the cables run to the SPT analyzer. And uh, So first we need to set up the PDI. We select that we're going to carry out a test. We move the test on so that we've got the right test number, checking that the rest of the data is correct for this test. So here we've got a Terrier um, for geotechnical engineering being tested. We then check the, the depth, and this is the depth from the bottom of the hole to the sensors within the instrumented rod. We now put in the specific details of the SPT hammer, which we are going to be testing. Uh, in this case, again, a Dando, uh, because it's a Dando Terrier. And this is a, a Terrier mounted on a geotechnical engineering slope climbing rig, a P45. So these are all unique to the hammer. We now carry out a quick check that it's a standard SPT hammer. Note the drop height and check on the sensors. Now we're ready to go. What we're looking at here is the actual trace, so this is the force trace and this is the velocity trace. What we're looking for is a nice clean initial peak and that's what gives us our energy ratio. <laughs> what we're also looking for is that it returns to zero, so that shows that both the accelerometers and the strain gauges are working perfectly fine. <laughs> 